We'll look at another colour mixing problem that many people find and that's how to get purple. Um, if you've seen my mixing greens tutorial on here you'll notice that how we see colour will affect how colours mix because each colour is biased slightly towards another colour in the spectrum. Here we've got ultramarine which is a violet blue cerulean blue which is a green blue cadmium red which is an orange red and alizarin crimson which is a violet red and understanding that will help us get the best purples and get us the right purple every single time uh, for a bright purple we'll mix the blue and the red that reflect violet or purple so if we mix alizarin crimson which you can see is quite a dark violet red with ultramarine which is a violet blue they both have violet in it so when they mix you get really beautiful vibrant blue purples which are great for flowers sweet peas fabric that sort of thing because they really are bright however if you want a mid based purple you can we'll keep the crimson and we'll change the blue to a non-violet blue which is cerulean and by mixing those together we'll get a mid-tone violet or purple you can see it's a little bit darker a little bit dull great for clouds on sunset skies now obviously we've used a combination there we've used a violet red and a green blue well we could use a violet blue which is ultramarine and an orange red for another mid-tone which is cadmium red and when they're together you get another mid-tone that's slightly darker and obviously it's darker because we've got one colour again that doesn't reflect violet at all which is the cadmium red now if you want a very very dark violet you use the blue and the red that don't reflect violet at all so if we use the cerulean blue our green blue if you remember with the cadmium red the orange red again neither of those reflect violet when they mix together you get an almost grey purple it's very very dark and dull and that is purely because neither of those colours reflect violet or purple in any shape or form so you can see in a very small time scale we've been able to mix a bright purple with alizarin crimson and ultramarine a mid purple with cerulean blue and crimson a mid purple with cadmium red and ultramarine and a dull violet purple with cerulean blue and cadmium red but it's understanding how color reflects other colors um, that will help us know exactly which mixes to make because no matter how much I mix cadmium red and cerulean blue together I will never get the same colour violet as I do with the two reflecting violet colours alizarin crimson and ultramarine it's something specific for that pigment but this way you can see you will always get the colour that you want the right shade that you want every single time yes it might have either a little bit more red or a little bit more blue in but it will still be a bright colour